The most interesting team right now for next season is who? New Orleans. Absolutely New Orleans. I, I think... Over the, the Lakers. Behind, yes, because unless come June 30th, July 1st, they add another superstar. Um, look, you're always going to get the buzz with LeBron and Anthony Davis. That's an unbelievable one-two punch. And they're definitely back in championship discussion. Don't get me wrong. But I think having these young superstars like Zion Williamson, uh, Jean Morant in, in Memphis, having these guys in smaller markets, I, I think it injects new life. For the first time in a long time, Dan, there is so much parity in the NBA because, you know, the last, what, five, six years, you and I, every week, it, every week we talked about, uh, it, is it Golden State or the field? Yeah. The field or Golden State, right? With the injuries of Golden State and with what the Lakers have, it's wide open. I mean, there are 12 to 15 teams that you are really excited about if they made the right moves, if these rookies and free agents pan out um, and they're playing well at the right time after the all-star break next season, they have a legitimate shot. Look at Toronto, Toronto, Kawhi Leonard went 15 a few years ago. He was the highest ranked player on that team and they ended up winning the championship. So it, it's all about selecting well for these general managers and presidents and scouting departments and teams gelling. Parity is at an all-time high now in the NBA. Did the Lakers overpay with Anthony Davis? Will we will we look back? How will we look back on this five years from now? Well, you will still have Anthony Davis in a Lakers uniform. So no, I think he had to make this that move. Um, that's why I think New Orleans is going to be such an intriguing team. Um, maybe only for this year. You put Zion out there with Ingram, Ball, Hart, Alvin Gentry coaching, and let's say the Lakers do not make another big-time move. They don't get another, like, max salary-type player. And then now you have to fill LeBron and Anthony Davis with just shooters, kind of what they did this past year. Who, who has a better record between New Orleans and the Lakers? That was my next question. I... I think those young those young cats in in New Orleans are going to have a lot of proving to do. I like what New Orleans is doing just for this one year because you know eventually the Lakers will get with those two players they will get another player. But if they the Lakers they're in the championship talk, but they've got to stay ha uh, healthy. Anthony Davis yes sure he can stay healthy, and we saw this year LeBron James at what thirty four thirty five. He broke down a little bit, yeah. right? So can those two guys stay healthy? For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV, stream for free on BR Live, or download the Dan Patrick Show app.